contagious. Raise your hand if you think it is, please. Yes. And we have a study that was done at USD in San Diego talking about obesity and thinness being socially contagious. So if you just take a second and think about all the people that are closest to you, your top five friends, and how they're healthy. It is a direct relationship to your personal health. That's what we found in the study showed it, that if you are ill or doing something that's negative, you have 171% chance to affect those people closest to you, even if they're not in the same state. It's usually same sex, and I can provide this study for anybody who would like it. But the reverse is also true. So if one person gets healthy, how many people's lives would they touch? How many other healthy people could create health because of this? So how big is our problem? How big is the obesity epidemic? Anybody know? 200 million Americans are suffering. They don't know what to do. Some people do know what to do. They're just not doing it, right? Why? Because in 1960, the average US calorie consumption was 1,980 calories. What is it today? 3,766 calories. That's a lot, huh? And why is that? Do you think technology has anything to do with the fact that people are eating higher dense caloric foods? So nutritional pollution, let's talk about this guy. So what costs more? This is kind of a trick question. A nine pound cent cheeseburger or a four dollar salad? So over time, do you think this guy, if he's eating cheeseburgers on a regular basis, even though it's 99 cents, do you think he is going to be on high blood pressure, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes? Do you think that's going to cost him and his family insurance, possible health issues that could lead to bankruptcy? You think it could cost him? So which one's which one's least, least expensive? The short term 99 cents in the long term? Buy the salad. Sedentary lifestyle. This is why I do this for the kids. I got made fun of in school, anybody else? And I remember the, uh, the, the overweight kids in school. There were two. And we have names for them. Fats and Nina and Fat Ryan. How many kids, if you go into your kids' school today, how many kids are suffering from being overweight? It's not two, I can tell you that. This is a big issue. The next generation, the current generation, will be the first in over 100 years to have a lower life expectancy than the previous. When I grow up, I'm going to weigh 300 pounds. Is that a reality? A crisis in America today. People are in such a hurry, we're not taking time out to look at what is most important to creating health. We're doing the most, the thing that's right in front of us, right? Because we're in such a hurry. And most people, how many people have been on a diet? All of us have. And the diet mindset is, it's a temporary fix to a permanent issue. How many people remember the low-carb diet? You know how many people gained weight during that period of time where everything was low-carb and then people ate more of it? How about having a nutritionist? Do people have nutritionists or no nutritionists? Have you ever worked with one? Their intentions are great. Sometimes people get overwhelmed by all the information and they don't take action. And is that nutritionist going to be with you all the time? So one of the ways that we look at health in my company is, well, first of all, I'm a great problem solver. Anybody else great at problem solving? Most health professionals are problem solvers, right? We've got a disease, we're gonna fix it. So we flip that, but what will happen is if somebody comes into the doctor's office and is about to become diabetic, and the doctor says, you've gotta lose weight, what happens? They lead to action. They start taking action, hopefully. They start to get healthier. They go back to the doctor. They do the blood workup, it's better. Then what happens? They take less action. And next thing they know, they go back to the doctor's office and what do they have to get on? Diabetic meds. So what we do with the company I'm with is we create health. We talk about what you want, why you want it. We ask the questions that are necessary to help people move towards what they want and not fix the problem. Because if we fixed all your problems, would you have what you want? Not necessarily, you'd have all your problems gone, but would you have created anything? Problem solving orientation is temporary success. And here's, this is my story, hypoglycemic. I had lost nine pounds and I've got the five pounds of fat in the back. Anybody who wants to play with it is welcome to. But what happens to most people is they're on this roller coaster ride. Has anyone ever had low blood 
blood sugar. So when I get low blood sugar, I can feel how anxious I am. I can grab anything because my, my, my blood sugar is crashed so hard that I am under stress for survival. And this is what most people are going through in their days. And a lot of people don't even need breakfast. How about personal responsibility? 95% of health conditions related to obesity are lifestyle related. 95% by Dr. Chesney, who has trained at our company and studied our program at Johns Hopkins University for over 20 years. So what's the solution? Well, the Take Shape for Life, we believe in healthy body, healthy mind, and healthy finances, but there's a balance between the three areas. Because if one area is out of balance, do you think the others are soon to follow? So what I'd like to ask you, when I started this, I was at a five for healthy body. I wasn't in the hospital, I wasn't on medications, but I didn't feel good. I was having kind of a life saving attacks. So I lost nine pounds in four weeks, and I took my score from a five to an eight. What's your score for a healthy body? Are you at a healthy weight? Are you sleeping well? Are you eating right? Do you work out regularly? That would give you a 10. So give yourself, take a moment, and think of where you are. And where would you like to go? Would moving from a five to an eight mean losing 30 pounds? So what we offer with Take Shape for Life? We offer a structured meal plan. It's called the five in one. And this is the quick start guide that people get with the program. We offer training and coaching. We are not focused on losing weight. We're focused on helping people create the habits of health. And we have a health coach, which would be me. And we are here to support you and hold you accountable. How many people do better when they have an accountability buddy? With anything. You have a coach, you're going to do better. So here's the plan. We want to help people reach their healthy weight. Five minutes back. How many people eat every three hours? Have you heard yourself? Think about how often you Kids. How many people have kids? You get that baby every three hours, probably. Every two to three, I mean, I think Anthony knows you're a long the baby. <laughs> so we eat every three hours to keep our metabolism stimulated. And our program has been studied at Johns Hopkins NIH. You can lose up to two to five pounds a week when you seem consistently. The question that we ask is can you eat every three hours? If we provide you with these yummy meal replacements, which we gave out, shakes and bars, they also have pancakes, brownies, soups for the people who like salt, salty stuff. It's easy, it's portable. I work a lot, and I'm in my car a lot, so it's nice to have food in the car so I'm not stopping for fast food. Leading Green Meals is one of the meals you have a day, and we teach you how to prepare that on your own so that you start to see how much food and what are the best protein and vegetables to have. So this is what it looks like with your blood sugars when you're on our program, which is why our program actually helps people, nine tenths out of 10 will cut their medication in half if they're type 2 diabetic, immediately. So eating every three hours, everybody heard what's the most important meal of the day? Breakfast. Breakfast has been in the first 30 minutes of waking, and every two to three hours after that, we recommend you have one of our meal replacements. We make it super easy on you. Have a shake, eat a bar, depends on where you are, you can make a soup or an oatmeal. The foods are actually really good, some of them, and some of them are. Protein and vegetable meal, and you're eating every two to three hours. Look how you don't have Feels 116 pounds. I mean, this is the, the key to anti-aging, is losing weight, in my opinion. And what I'm so proud of Sandy about is not so much that she lost the 60 pounds in the 12 weeks, which is incredible, right? She's kept it off for over three years. So what are our benefits? You lose up to two to five pounds in the first week. It's great tasting, low glycemic. How many people spend about $12 a day on eating out, Starbucks, quick foods? That's how much our program costs. $12 a day to actually lose weight and create health. There's no additional program fees or my coaching is free. This is why I do this for a living. This is my guy. Some of you have met Greg Rex, and I hope that you'll have an opportunity to come up with me all of you at some point. He lost 50 pounds in 10 weeks. How many people have heard that exercise is the key to losing weight? Exhibit A. He did three triathlons in one year. He lost three pounds. But when he started eating small frequent meals every three hours, he's 50 years old in August. He kept off 50 pounds. It's been almost 12 years. He was overweight. He was a chubby kid. So he's found a tool that 
it can really make a difference. So the way glucose insulin response, this is maintenance. This is what it looks like for you now. I had a meal replacement this morning. I like to do quick shakes. I knew I had to drive up here, so I brought a bar with me on the drive up. And then every three hours after that, I have a meal. I'm still living the habits of health. And I've been doing this for almost 12 years. Now for your providers, what's in their break room? Are they talking to their pharmaceutical labs about bringing in healthy protein and vegetables, about setting a standard for their practice, and for their staff? I ask all of you, there's a, a, a card in the back. There's also a BMI card inside the folder I gave you. But this is a great tool to find your height on the far left. You find your weight, and then go across, and you can find your BMI. So the card is in here. You find your height, find your weight, and this card will tell you whether you are at a healthy weight, overweight or obese. But I was at a healthy weight. I was just sick. I was eating the wrong stuff. So do you think it's possible nutritionally that some people could look healthy, but they're not? So how can we get involved together? My intention is to become a partner, become a resource for others. That is how I would love to be viewed. And I know it takes time to build trust. So this is all in your folder. I gave these for your practitioners. For your practitioners. If you could open this up just for a moment and take a look. I'm providing learning how you can create in the practice BMI cards. There's a form in there about all the things that you can see the poster in the back to be benefits of being in a healthy weight. I will do whatever I can to provide to your health professionals. And one of the things that I'm offering for the first 20 that schedule me to come in and talk to their doctor's offices or call me and do a consult, I'm offering free posters or a drawing for the free book called Discover Your Optimal Health. I'm going to give away three of these today, too. How much more time do I have? Okay, so I'm going to close. This one's for you guys. I am going to, out of my pocket, offer the system. The Take Shape of Life system is a book and a companion guide where you can go through and learn and get lessons about how to keep the weight off. It's a $50 value for everyone who places a full month order. Any artist employee, I am going to provide that. So if there's people you care about, if it's yourself and you'd like to test this out, give me a call. It takes 15 minutes to talk about whether this is a fit for you. I'll provide internal marketing for your docs so that they have a resource. And let's say the physician said, gosh, I've been looking for a weight loss program my entire career. What do you have? For $199, they can have a turnkey program. I will come up and train them. I will train you. I will do whatever it takes to help support the physicians and their patients mm -hmm. to create help. If you email me at Whitney at tntsfl.com, which is also on these cards, which I'm going to ask you guys to put in this basket. If I pass the basket around, would you put your cards in here? And I'm going to give away three of those books at the end, and I'm giving away two $25 uh, cards, gift cards. So email me, you can take the free health assessment and learn about yourself and where you're at with your current health. And the doctors are welcome to use it as well. So book me for a healthy habits talk. I'd love to come in and help the physicians, patients. Schedule a free coaching session. We have events once a month. We're going to have a uh, Dr. Anderson, the medical director of our company, is going to be in Anaheim in July. So the one thing that I'll ask, this is true for you and your docs. If you don't do anything, if you don't change anything about your current, remember we looked at the numbers, where you're at and your numbers? If you don't do anything, are you going to get better in the next two years? Are you going to improve? So my request is what do you have to lose at least chatting about this to see whether or not this would be a fit for you or your dogs. Give me an opportunity. I would love to get to know all of you better. I know trust takes time, and I'm in investing here as long as I can to get to know all of you and see how I can provide benefit and service. And I want to thank Anthony for chatting with me and Patty for giving me information before I came in to get to know you guys a little bit better. And Rob. Well,